The Boston Groundwater Trust is a city entity that was established by the Boston City Council in 1986 to monitor groundwater levels. And the Groundwater Trust monitors groundwater levels because the buildings are supported on wooden pilings, and those wooden pilings need to remain submerged below the groundwater table. If the groundwater table drops, the pilings become exposed to air, they rot, and the building starts to settle and become essentially unsafe. This is probably representative of the upper one and a half to two feet of a top of a wood pile from a building here in Boston that had to be repaired because those piles were deteriorated. The city of Boston back in colonial times, which is around 1630, 1650 time frame, was basically a peninsula as it is today, but it was much smaller. And then eventually it started to burst at the seams and there was a need to create land. So they filled in Back Bay, Fenway, South End over the period of about 30 years. They also filled in areas of the North End, majority of East Boston, Four Point Channel. There was probably six major fillings that occurred that created what Boston is today. After that, they had land to build on. And the period of the late 1800s to the early 1900s, those buildings were supported on wooden pilings if they were on filled land. Not every building in Boston that's on wood piles has the tops of the piles at the same elevation and at an elevation that is below groundwater. As time has gone on and Boston has become more developed, there's been less ability to replenish the ground with groundwater because it's just a much more impervious boundary. As soon as the water table drops and stays down for a certain period of time, that wood becomes exposed to oxygen. And the oxygen creates an environment for bacteria and bugs to basically grow. And when those bugs grow, they attack the wood and they eat the wood and that's how they survive. So what happens is you go from say a tree or a wood pile that might be 10 or 12 inches in diameter that's holding up granite blocks, that's then holding up brick walls it goes from 10 inches to about two or three inches, or in some cases, it just completely deteriorates. And so what happens is the support of those blocks and the wall is lost. And the ground, which is the filled land, wasn't good ground to begin with, and so the buildings settle. And what usually happens is none of the piles will deteriorate at the same time. So you get different conditions at a front of a building versus a back of a building. And what happens is, is instead of the building settling evenly, one part settles, the other doesn't. And when that happens, the brick cracks or your nicely finished walls will crack or you can't open doors and windows or, or you just have problems with sort of the, the house itself. And so that's the problem. That's what we're trying to identify. And if we do identify it, then we try to repair that problem. The city and ultimately the residents look to us as a resource. You know, we're the information guys, so to speak. People want to know where the groundwater levels are, foundation information, piling cutoff information. We have that. And our primary purpose is to record and report on the groundwater levels, make recommendations to solve the problems, and inform people. Let the people know of this issue, why it's important to maintain groundwater levels, that these buildings are in fact on wood pilings because the first thing you would think of a building is concrete or steel. We monitor groundwater levels through a series of groundwater observation wells that are in the public way. So there are roughly 800 observation wells spread throughout all the areas of the city where there are wood piling supported structures. Every five to six weeks, we, we read all 800 wells. And then we start in East Boston. We finish up in the uh, southern portion of Back Bay. Once we finish there, we go right back to the beginning and we start all over again. And it's a process that usually is about seven to eight times a year we read the whole well network. If someone calls us to say, I have a building here, is it at risk? So we look at our groundwater elevation data, we'll look at our pile cutoff elevation data, which gives us the height of the pilings, and then we'll make a recommendation off that, whether or not they should seek out additional assistance. And ultimately at that point, then it would lead to contacting a geotechnical engineer, a structural engineer to come out. They'll come out, they'll take a look at the building and give a more professional assessment and advise on what to do from there. If the Groundwater Trust didn't exist and this well network wasn't established, you'd be putting thousands of buildings at risk.